Hello everyone, my name is Kiki Alexander. You know me as the Panda Photographer from 646studios.com And I got a story I need to tell you guys about what happened this morning with the client Now I met this person about two weeks ago Then the person kept emailing me about doing a small birthday party for her 9 year old son that will be turning 9 and on Wednesday And she decided to contact me on Thursday to meet with me on Sunday at the local Starbucks. Turns out that meeting turned out to be one of the probably the most entertaining but racist uh, meetings that I have encountered today. So basically, she wanted to know what was my pricing, and I gave her a fair pricing. Uh, normally, I charge thirteen hundred dollars for a six to eight hour birthday party, and and she was talking about from like. 11 to uh, 5 p.m. and I'm not going to be working $250 for that long and basically what happened was that I gave her my contract she thought the contract was unorthodox she thought that the contract was very unreasonable she also thought that the contract was just not necessary and I said no it is necessary to protect myself myself from any wrongdoing because I travel a long way to and I don't want to be involved and I'm ready in a lawsuit with two clients already for defamation of my business so in that process it's going to take a couple of two or three years but not only that she ends up continuing on with babbling about how my pricing at $600 is too high for a birthday party and not only that she also asked for the raw uh, files to the photos and I told her as a photographer and as a semi uh, self-taught professional photographer and that's when I categorize myself I would never give out raw files I'm sorry but I can't compute with that I'm not gonna agree with that terms if you read my contract it states that I have all rights to the photos and now if she was to actually book me and then decided to tell me that she wants all the raw files she actually voiced the contract therefore I keep the non container feed which allows me to do that but instead her sister was also there and also her sister also told her that in my face that well we believe that you're a ripoff you're just trying to rip people off and it's like rip people off I don't doubt I don't think so I think you have the wrong photographer in mind if you really want someone to do your son's photography maybe ask one of your family members to take photos she goes my uncle she said her uncle and her brother can do it for less cheaper then I said then why did you waste my time today knowing that your uncle or your brother are photographers that can do it now I believe that this is all just a sham to get me to lower my price now normally as I said guys I do it for about thirteen hundred dollars uh, but I did it for six hundred dollars I was trying to be fair she wanted me to go way down more like two hundred dollars and plus keep the raw files I don't think she even knows what kind of uh, stress environment we have to go through to order to capture the moment and as photographers we captured moments that last a lifetime but she didn't only want to understand that kind of concept she just wanted to get basically free photos from me then she said oh then if you don't want to do it do it for free you can build up your portfolio i was like i don't need my i don't need another portfolio i have plenty online i have three websites that have different portfolio types of different photography i do fashion I do modeling I do parties I do events I do shows I do portraits I do long exposure I do time-lapse what photographer can give you that now I'm trying to reason with her but then she pull out the race car her sister did her sister said oh you just you just you just a shameful black person trying to rob people so I was like okay you put a race in front of this whole situation and then she said that I might try to rob them. I was like, rob you? You might try to rob me right now. I don't know you. I don't know where you're from, where you live, who you know. I don't know who's going to be attending this party. I'm not sure who your guests are. You guests could be robbing me with all the gear that I have. I have, I, I have already been through this situation already. I have already been robbed in New York City. My entire studio and all my gear was stolen. All right, I don't need to go through that process ever again. It was a very hard process for the last couple of months for me, and it still is. But 
for you to make assumptions about me being black and me trying to rob you is very unprofessional by the way this is going to be recorded because this is unjustifiable where is the equal opportunity in this country they didn't look they didn't want to look at my friend's side or my desire side they didn't want to look at my degrees they didn't want to look at my education they just looked at one factor the skin color they was expecting a white person or a French Japanese guy and I said no that's me like what do you want what do you expect now you're just being a stereotype in people kind of individuals but that said guys as a photographer I want you guys to also protect yourself from the elements and the elements are people like to intimidate you and like to bullshit you around people like to also try to get over you so what you need to do is present it with a contract and with in this situation the contract was basically my my protection my police force my my wild wall for those that are uh, uh, evading or intruding my space without consent and that is what the contract is there to protect you guys as photographers it's not there to be a show border it's there to protect your rights from clients that do any harm doings and the client did not want to agree with this term so with that said this is the third time this has happened here in san jose california since i've been here and i have to say like i've been doing a lot of shit, and i'm not very happy with it but you know it's what it is but for the, you guys out there that really want some advice please do contracts all the time. If you're new to photography and you want to make money fast, I don't think this is the right time for you. I don't think it's going to be the right time until you learn the ins and outs about your camera and what shutter, aperture, priority, and ISO is all about, depth of field, uh, what's in focus, what lens that you should work with. And don't get me wrong, any camera can do the job. It's based on the photographer. And a lot of people might get this a question a lot. Wow, I want the camera that you have. It's not the camera, it's the photographer. Yes, I have very nice gear and nice equipment, but it doesn't mean shit. It's just me. I am a self-taught educator of myself, taught photography since analog days. No one's ever taught me how to shoot photography other than my, my, my parents back in Osaka, but that's a different story. But I took breaks. Off and on. I had a life. I had school. I had education. I had family. And I got to take care of those as well. But in this particular time, it wasn't the right the mood to agree to this client's demands, basically. And as for, to, for talk, to you photographers out there, protect yourself with contracts. Make sure they agree to a non container fee. A non container fee is like a booking fee. If they cancel, you get to keep the non-container fee because they cancel but not only that it also protects you the rights to keep the raw files never give away your raw files and she asks for raw files never give away your raw files if you give away your raw files you might as well just give away your business simple doesn't don't ever do that it's the wrong decision to do just because you want to make a couple of bucks don't ever do that because you can remaster that photo later on in the past in the future so on as you get better at what you do but if you're new to photography you want to build a portfolio you know still don't give away your raw files always give them high jpeg and low jpegs all right simple as that with that said the panda photography here once you subscribe to this channel follow me on instagram at the panda photographer 646 studios on twitter 646 photography Six with the studios photography on Facebook. I got a PayPal donation link in the description down below where you can also help me in the situation in hand. But not only that, just continue to talk about the gear. Now, gear doesn't matter. Use whatever you have, okay? It's, it's very important. Not only that, when you are shooting or you're doing street photography, night photography, long exposures, portraits, Protect yourself, always have the camera around your neck or your waist, make sure it's locked to something that you never get, you're never gonna take your eyes off. But don't be a victim like I have been a victim. I've been a victim too many times. And it's not that I was intentionally trying to be a victim, it just naturally happened. And what happened in New York was a bunch of scams uh, going on when people tried to pretend to be a client and then they knew my location of my studio. I showed them the, the area where we can shoot and they realized they could break into the place and they went, that's what happened and then 
for my play style then look where I am now in this situation but that's why it's, for you guys as photographers protect yourselves always don't make the same mistakes I did and this wasn't my mistake I was at another photo shoot in San, San Diego when this happened so they waited till I left town to rob my place so it wasn't that I was I should say yeah I was a victim but be careful who you talk to and make sure that you don't show the location to you feel comfortable this is why I only invite models to my studio from now on I wanted to invite people over and people kept coming over for parties but with that said protect yourself guys it's very important that you do it and it's very important that you always make sure that you come first all the time and the client comes second when it comes down to clients agreeing to your terms then the client comes first you come second okay if your client is being reasonable and agreeing to your terms and want to pay you to actually do a little bit of extra work the client comes first but before that kind that contract is agreed on you come first your protection is always the first thing that you should be concerned about and where you're gonna be shooting what location are you gonna be comfortable and if you do need help on a location you don't want to shoot alone bring someone with you just to tag along you know help, let them help you out with lighting and make sure that if they want to be helping you and want to learn from you bring a protege with you someone that wants to learn from your techniques bring someone with you so they could be a witness also use your device to record things like that in documentation in my case I did and I'm going to be using it just in case the client that person actually comes at me and uh, tries to defamation my business I already sued two clients as, as it is for defamation of my business and that's going to take a probably like two or three years but it's process I do have my evidence I have my proof but it's still a process it takes process but with that said uh, thank you everyone for uh, tuning in and basically to listen to the story as a photographer expected but with that said guys please join me subscribe to the channel follow me on social media that the Instagram the, the Twitter and the Facebook also support the channel by hitting the PayPal donation button as well if you guys have any questions that you guys want to ask me leave the comments down below with that said everyone thank you for watching and you guys are curious about what i'm recording with i am using the sony a77 i'm using a flat profile neutral i'm going to be sharpening and color grading and i'm one stop overexposed so i'm going to do it by one stop in the way but with that said uh and i'm using the sigma 1835 to record this so just in case you guys want to know and i am going to shoot i am going to upscale this to 4k because the, this lens is very sharp and clean so and as a videographer as well I I like clean footage and I'm going to lose some lux as well so uh, give you guys a little bit of the lux detail but with that said guys thank you for watching hopefully this has helped you educate you on your protection and hear from a photographer's experience and how to deal with clients and how I have dealt with the situation in hand with that said guys thank you arigato and take care guys, eat, sleep, photography, and repeat, and I'm gonna drop the mic right now. Take care.